Hello everybody, it's Katie. Today we talk about books I regret buying, which is the March 3 in 1 th <laughs> which is the March 3 in 1 video which is created by the lovely Cherry Walker whose channel I will put in the description below for you to check her out and um which is, you know, something we do on the Goodreads group which is called um booktubers from around the world, which I will also put in the description below for you to check out. So let's get into the books that I regret buying. First, I regret buying this book, The Accidental Afterlife of Thomas Marston by Emma Trawain. If you remember, I read this um, last autumn. I put up a whole review video of this it, and it was just so <laughs> boring, honestly. Oh damn, why did I read it? Like, it's it's not that big. Thank God, it's a children's book, but it was just so boring and I... I could have gotten it from a library or just not read it and I would be the same person as before. There you go. Next up we have actually two books. Um, we have The Glass Magician and The Master Magician by Charlie and Holmberg, which are which are books two and three in the Paper Magician trilogy and you guys I have this very bad habit of buying entire series without even reading the first book and uh, this <laughs> was one of these series that I bought in its entirety because I thought it just sounded so amazing <laughs> And then I read the first book and it was okay-ish. I, I liked it. I, I genuinely liked the first book and then book two and three. But I like if I just bought book one and not book two and three, I probably wouldn't have continued with the series because it just there were so many flaws in it and I just have other books to read and but I bought the entire but I had bought the entire series, so I read book two and I hate it. And I read book three and I was just like, whatever, this is some bullshit. Now I really regret buying these two because I wouldn't have bought them after reading the first book. And I just, it's my own fault and bad habit. And I just, it should, you know, be a lesson for me to not buy books, just not buy series in its entire series. Is anyone else doing that? Is any, like, just a question, is anyone else doing that? Like buying whole series of books without reading the first book? Oh, what a waste of money. And then you probably <laughs> know what's coming next. I just recently read it. I, ah, oh, damn it. I can't believe that I paid full price for this book. Like, I think it was 10 euros. What is the pound price? It's like 2.99. Okay, whatever. But I paid like full price for this book. Why? <laughs> and that book is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Ah, oh, I hate this book. <laughs> Why did I pay full price for this? Like, if I would have waited for half a year, I could have bought a, a, cop, a second-hand copy, probably. Oh, man. I really didn't like this book. I know a lot of people like it, but I just don't. It's not for me, whatever. Blech. Oh, just, you know, the ma amount of money that I wasted on, the, on these books. Like, I could have bought so many other great books. Damn. <laughs> so that was it for uh, today, this month's video. Um, okay. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you're reading something really epic today and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.